top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap now, but the rest is a rap and a Yo guys, what is going on Tim Pursuit? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys my top 10 favorite fonts to use in Photoshop or Illustrator when I'm designing basically my top 10 favorite fonts, but I'm gonna be doing five of them. The other half is gonna be over two Devil Cube designs. His link will be in the description, and yeah, he'll be doing the other half of the video. He's actually gonna start the, the video, um, but yeah, um, shout out to him. Make sure you go check out his channel, subscribe to him. He does really good videos. Um, I really do like his motion work. Um, I've been watching a lot of his tutorials recently. Also make sure you check out his Twitter and Instagram also will be in the description and the fonts will be in the description too. Um, so yeah, um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Let's try and break 250 likes on this video. Subscribe if you are new and also let me know what video you'd like to see from me next. And yeah, um, over to Devil Cube Designs. Hey there guys, this is Chayden here from Devil Cube Designs and welcome to this collaboration video. You know, it's pretty exciting to be doing a collaboration video with Timpers. I've actually done uh, a few collaborations in the past, so then we thought, why not, you know, make one more. And uh, as you know, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite uh, five fonts. These are the ones which I use on a regular basis for my logos, uh, for my banners and things like that. So a quick introduction for those who don't know about me. I am a designer and I upload tutorials on a regular basis teaching graphic design. So a link will be there in the description. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it about me. And now let's start off with my first font. So the first font which I like is called as Hemihead. And uh, this is a font which comes as an italicized font. And um, I would use this as a sci-fi font, you know, when I'm doing futuristic related stuff. It's very bold as well. So it's not too bold or it's not too thin. It's the perfect size and I would definitely use this in some of my designs. So the next one we have is called as Ant Antonia Bold. And uh, this is a very simple font, but the reason I like this font, it's because it's tall. So if you've seen fonts like Bebaz or Oswald, uh, this is a very good substitute for that because uh, the curves are done very well. The proportion of the height and the gaps is extremely good so this is a very good looking font which I would definitely recommend the next one is another very simple font uh, which is a very cool font uh, I must say because uh, it's very simple there's nothing much I can talk about this uh, the letters are very evenly spaced they're round they're good and uh, you know they would make well on small posters or even clean banners so I would definitely recommend this now the next one is one of my personal favorites it's called a subspace now this is something that I particularly use when making mascot logos because this is extremely you know um, futuristic and trending and you know uh, it's just not simple it's very sophisticated and really cool to look at as well and if you use it with the right letters and uh, you know the lights the right spacing and uh, text position uh, and size a lot of things you can do with this font it will look amazing I have used this a couple of times for my logos and it's look Okay, moving on to the last font, it's called as Cydonia Century and this is a very beautiful font because it comes in a variety of various styles, uh, slanting, outline, gradient and things like that and this is so cool. The reason I like this font is because it's small, compact and also gives you a very futuristic feel. This was something that I wouldn't use too much on logos but something that would you know be a, you know, a basic highlight text or a subtitle or a, you know just a main text with a few letters. It's gonna look so stunning um, and I really like this font. I use it for so many times in my designs and uh, the result is always great. So that's pretty much it about my top five favorite fonts. I hope you guys really liked it. All the links to these fonts will be down below in the description and uh, I'll see you guys pretty soon. So if you guys want to check me out again, the links will be in the description to my channel. So definitely leave a like on this video and subscribe to both of our channels and we really appreciate that. Okay, so that is Devil Cube's um, five fonts. And those are really nice fonts. Um, as you can see on the left, they're really nice fonts. Very clean and um, some of them are very, you can use them for different ways. Like you might want to use, I'd say, Hemihead for um, a gaming banner. Antonio for more of an advertisement. Same for Gilroy. Um, but yeah, they're really nice. So I'm going to go over to my five fonts. And the first one is Myriad Pro. I use this font. Um, probably 90% of the time because it's so clean lowercase also looks really nice there's not much I can say about it it's bold you can um, reduce it to regular as well um, but yeah it's just a really simplistic font 
Um, and then the next one is Go Bold. I really like this font. It's very compact um, and the cur it's very curvy, but um, very compact at the same time. So it's really nice. It's just something different. Um, I do use this font quite often as well. Um, the next font is Quantify. This font's more for like gaming banners. It's quite sci-fi um, and yeah, it's just really clean. I, I like the little cuts like on the Q and the A. It looks pretty cool and um, yeah, it's something different. I don't really see many people using this font, um, so it's quite underrated. I do like this font a lot and that's why it's in my top five. So the next font is called Evogria. This font is very good. It's bold. Um, and it's very like clean at the same time. I use this mainly um, on mascot logos. If I've got text in there, I like to use this for the mascots. It's just perfect for it because it's bold um, and easy to read and clean at the same time. So that leads on to the final font by me and that is and this is called Long Haul. It's slanted um, and I do like it like that. It's, it's bold but it's also got some curves like um, as you can see in the top and bottom of the layers, it's quite curved, but it's also bold and it's just, it just works really nicely. It's not much I can say about it, it's, I just really, I find it really nice and I use it quite often. So yeah, those are my top five favourite fonts. I hope you liked Devil Cube Designs um, half of the video as well. Make sure you go check out his channel in the description and make sure you follow him, follow him on his social medias. And yeah, that's about it for the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to me. Uh, comment what video you'd like to see from me next. And I hope you're all having a sick day today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cocaine on the table, look